All right. Looks like we're live. And it's today I'm very excited. Dan Cushell hopped on. I'm like, Dan, I want to talk. I want What's to talk up, about, brother Jeremy? Hey. <laughs> I'm like, I want to talk about, we do have 10 minutes, and he does, to talk about outsourcing automation and what you use for automation and tools. I've been really just trying to get systems down lately. It's the non-sexy stuff that runs the business. So, you know, this is brought to you by Rise25.com. We help service professionals, doctors, lawyers, accountants stop just trading time for dollars and shift from one-to-one client work to one-to-many client work. So if people are curious about what we're doing it there with our accountability, group coaching, our retreats, go to Rise25.com. But I have Dan Cashel, um, just someone I consider a friend, a mentor, um, who's just an amazing dad, husband, thought leader, and just has just a wealth of business experience, you know, building companies up to 175 employees, millions of dollars a year. And um, Dan, I want you to talk. Thank you for one joining me. It's awesome to do this. this. I, I love technology. You Isn't it awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I want you to talk about, first of all, you have something coming up. I'd love for you to talk about that and also about just outsourcing automation. What do you use? What kind of tools and software you're using to run your busy life and, and business? Well, I, I would say, you know, number one, you know that being a dad and being healthy is like a big part of my life today because, uh, you know, we can all have successful businesses. Uh, I know a lot of people who run successful businesses but are really unhealthy. Uh, in a lot of ways. And, you know, I had an experience, as you know, a couple weeks after my son was born, I ended up in a hospital, transformed my way of thinking about things. And it's been a process and I'm not perfect at it. But today I look at how do you build a healthy business? So my favorite, like, technology is like a gorilla technology. Do, do you want to hear it? Gorilla? Yeah. Tell it's me what gorilla Literally, technology. it's a gorilla technique. And I didn't invent it by any means. Uh, but it's called burpees. So this technology is called burpees and it's where you stand up and then you drop down and <laughs> bounce on the chest and then pop back up. And so I'm doing like 60 to 80 of those every day. Wow. Um, Joe, Joe Polish introduced the idea of burpees uh, through Joe DeSana who runs Spartan races. And oh, yeah. uh, I took that He's challenge. A warrior, uh, my first month I did over a thousand burpees. Uh, last month I did over 1800 burpees for the month. And uh, this month, my goal is to do over 2,000 burpees. So burpees have become my new favorite technology. <laughs> it's crazy as that sounds. I like the I like that. So do you just drop down and do 20 or do you just have a specific? Yeah, I integrate it with my workout. So like I do, you know, like last, this past month. I was not month, expecting it, you to say burpees. I'll tell you that. I, I imagine. Yeah. I imagine you, you weren't, right? So, you know, healthy life, healthy business, healthy wife, right? Yeah. And, and me, means a healthy healthy life uh, for me anyway, not that that applies to everybody. Um, but, you know, exercise, health, fitness has become just a way of being for me. Like this past month, I worked out 30 days. I did eight to a days. I worked out over 30 hours um, it, you know, during that time. And I built in the burpees as part of my either I do circuit training, which is a combination of weight training with cardio mixed in, or I just do cardio and mix the burpees in with cardio. So that's, that's the short version. All right. of it. Yeah. Well, that's your health technology, outsource automation. What about <laughs> business wise? What are you using for automation? You know, there's all kinds of, of different strategies that someone, so if someone is, you know, brand new building a business or they haven't quite gotten over the couple million dollar year mark, my favorite technologies today I mean, what, what, do you, what do you really need? First of all, you just need three things, right? You need, and I, I've heard uh, Gary Halbert say this, I've heard Joe Polish say you need a product or a service, you need a delivery system, and you need a sales message, <laughs> right? So where I spend most of my time, Jeremy, uh, is like focused on sales messaging, right? And so I'm constantly uh, in the psychology of, marketing and messaging and I'll, I'll you know watch certain videos over and over and over again to get the cadence to get the rhythm to get the calls to action you know I'm, I'm a student of marketing have been since 1992 when I you know in 1989 I, I worked in my first direct response marketing company with direct mail way back before the internet 
but if I had to pick the technology to launch and build and grow a business, my favorites today that I would recommend to people would be, you know, a lot of people uh, overcomplicate it. It can be overwhelming. You know, all these moving parts, 100%. tech, tech yeah. overwhelm, right? So for, for me, I like being on the other side of simplicity. My favorite quote is Oliver Wendell Holmes, which is, you know, I wouldn't give a fig to be on the other side of complexity, but I'd give my life to be on this side of simplicity. Right. Yeah. And so the technology I would share, you know, Infusionsoft is very well known and popularized in our industry. And, you know, Infusionsoft is great. Joe Polish is the second client of Infusionsoft. So I have wow. to endorse, you know, Infusionsoft know as, as a, a strategy. Uh, however, if I'm starting over today personally, I would look at using ClickFunnels. Right. Uh, it's just a super simple technology. You can integrate. Uh, you know, to build websites and how I would go about it because I'm not, I don't want to ever be caught up in technology overwhelm. So like ClickFunnels, uh, I get an account with ClickFunnels. You can get a free trial. You can, uh, you know, be on the program for like as little as 97 a month and then build up. And then you can go find a, a, a programmer on something like Upwork for, you know, less than 20 bucks an hour to help you, you know, customize the pages. Like, so that would be like my hack to use that. Yeah. Then, then different things are, 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 are best for our business, right? So someone who says they're a one size fits all model is probably heading down the wrong path. So email delivery, right, is not something that any of the platforms that I've come across specialize in. So if I were starting off brand new, I would get a, uh, an account either like ClickFunnels or, or, or an Infusionsoft if you're going to be more advanced and go that way. But then I would look at email separate of that, right? And why I like ClickFunnels as well is two things. So I use like for me, for my business, I use ClickFunnels, right, to get started. And I use uh, GetResponse for my email delivery, mm. right? And the great thing about ClickFunnels, something I've been sharing. So years ago, Jeremy, I ran a, you know, a lot of different companies, five companies. You mentioned 175 employees. And I've had scenarios where my uh, email database got hacked and so on. And then you know, you, I had at my peak like 2 million Redundancy. subscribers on yeah. my list, right? And so if delivery goes down, you're impacted. And what do you do if you have issues? So... I have always found it to be smart for companies to look at having a backup. What I love about an, uh, a, a system like get, uh, get re integrating GetResponse and ClickFunnels is GetResponse can be my main delivery source, but then ClickFunnels can be my backup, right? And having that backup in a system that can deliver email makes it so much easier because when you export email out of one system into another, you lose 95% of that data, right? It becomes you know, uh, less valuable overall, but if it's syncing up at the same time in two, you could actually randomly push email through both of them, right, in a smart way. And I don't, I don't want to get too technical, but it's just, what, you know, like starting over, if I were starting over, I would find an email provider like Drip or GetResponse, integrate with something like ClickFunnels, be up and running, and make sure you've got backups uh, where it's posting to two systems at the same time so that if delivery goes down in one or something happens with one, you've got an immediate yeah. way to, to have high, uh, high deliveries. So that, those are a couple. <laughs> yeah. And Dan, you know, I know, you know, you have a few more minutes. I want to talk about what you have coming up, but um, you know, I, the message I take from you is redundancy. Redundancy is key in business. Like if something goes down, you need to have a backup. And I know you, we've talked about this with payment yeah. processors also. Payment oh, process yes. like yeah. having. We don't have to go into that saga now. Maybe this is for the next <laughs> Facebook Live. But um, redundancy. That, that's a great reminder for me. Like in any piece of my business, I need to install or make sure there's redundancy. Whether it's um, a staff, whether it's a software, whether it's it's an important piece of the business. So yeah, and I that. would say uh, absolutely. And you know, the most important piece is the sales message, right? I, I've sold stuff without any online web presence and you know i think sometimes people are like trying to get it perfect and trying to get it right and i would tell you that the way to get it right is get a sales message make offers and you'll you'll integrate the other pieces at least that's that's, that's, that's been my yeah. my history get it get out, it out get there iterate and 
and uh, keep perfecting it, but don't wait to release it. That's right. Um, so you have to go in two and a half minutes. Um, what do you have going on now? What should people check out for you? Uh, I would say, you know, we've got this new business blueprint model that we've established. Basically, it's geared for entrepreneurs, small business owners doing less than a million a year, right? And what we do is we build champions. Uh, we help people uh, create an advanced I think momentum. I have your book somewhere. Yeah. Your champion book. I have two copies. It's it's amazing. If you haven't, anyone hasn't checked it out, where can they check that out? Uh, yeah, e- out. easy way. The uh, Just go to championbusinessblueprint.com. And you okay. can check out, we've got a, a free masterclass and training to introduce some of the concepts that we're working with right now to help companies grow and scale uh, the business and uh, championbusinessblueprint.com. Championbusinessblueprint.com. And this is, you have one coming up now. I mean, people may be watching this at different points, um, but you have one coming up now. If they're watching it before that date, when is, when is the next one? The next one is August 10th and 11th. And, uh, okay. you know, we've got, you know, we'll have about 30 to, you know, 30 some people that will be attending where we we'll basically spend two days, uh, going through, you know, helping you develop your message, tell a better story, uh, build a, you know, how many people do I talk to that? I go, do you have a marketing plan blueprint? And they go, no, well, we work side by side to help you develop your marketing plan blueprint for the year. Uh, how about a marketing plan mm-hmm. calendar or a marketing calendar blueprint? And I, I can't tell you how many people who tell yeah. me, no, I don't have that either. And what uh, we do is we help you build your marketing calendar blueprint, right? Uh, we help yeah. you build your sales model blueprint. And so yeah. we spend two Usually days. Usually valuable. Yeah. So you can get all the details at championbusinessblueprint.com. Um, you know, August 10th and 11th might be a little bit last minute notice. You can still get on the, the list and we'll let you know when the next one, uh, next opportunities are, which we're looking at December for the next one. Mm-hmm. I'm going to um, champion business blueprint. I just posted that comment, and if I knew how to use it, oh, there we go. So I'm going to show this on the screen. So right now, as you're seeing on the screen, championbusinessblueprint.com. Check it out. Dan has to run. Dan, you're awesome. Thanks, Jeremy. See you, buddy. Bye.